Why are camera sensors different sizes? Well, it's just like the different sizes of rolls of film. Depending on the film thickness and the orientation, you can get a different frame size. Like Super 16, 35mm, or VistaVision. Today, popular digital sensor sizes include large format, full frame, Super 35, and Micro Four Thirds. Like in the days of film, there are technical and artistic reasons to choose different sensor sizes. Like how heavy the build is, how the size affects the perception of depth of field, and which lenses you can use. Speaking of lenses, these are the gateway to your sensor. And every lens casts a certain size projection on the sensor plane. This projection is known as an image circle. Generally speaking, the bigger the image circle, the bigger the sensor you can use, but also the bigger, heavier, and pricier the lens. So to avoid vignetting, the image circle of the lens needs to cover the diagonal length of the sensor. A lens designed for APS-C won't necessarily cover your full-frame camera sensor. Because different sensors capture different sized portions of a lens's image circle, to compare how a lens's visible field of view is affected across formats, we use a simple formula called crop factor. We take the full frame diagonal as reference and divide it by the sensor diagonal that you're comparing, and the result is the crop factor. So a 20 millimeter lens in full frame feels more like 30 millimeters on Super 35 and 40 on Micro Four Thirds. So you might be thinking bigger is better. But Micro Four Thirds small size can actually lead to some interesting opportunities, like the ability to use more affordable vintage Super 16 lenses. The image circle is simply too small to resolve detail on most larger sensors. And think of some of the other ways you can leverage any sensor size, like those who are taking full-frame sensors and rotating them 90 degrees and de-squeezing them with a 2x anamorphic, giving them a virtual sensor size close to medium format. Sensor size isn't everything, but it is one of the foundational pieces of any camera system. All these formats exist for a reason, and there's a rich history behind each one. So choose the one that works for your story.